Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Kylene McLeod. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm going to talk about my college experience. My first year, uh, I wanted to become a police officer, but I didn't, wasn't qualified. <laughs> so I did another program, which was General Arts and Science Justice Studies, so I could know what college is like, if it's for me. And after my Justice Studies program, I knew I wanted to help people, so that's why I did a personality test. I wouldn't get introduced when I know that in class. If you want to know a career job for you and see the Gunan dual personality test. So I did it and I looked for a job and a course that suits my personality. Uh, so I found recreation and leisure services. It was a, a two year program that helped me learn how to become a recreation programmer. I learned things like financing, marketing, fitness, creating uh, recreation and leisure programs special events, facilities management, community development, therapeutic recreation, leadership and group dynamics, and many more classes. So it was a two-year program. Uh, it was awesome. I would totally do it all over again. It was an amazing experience. Um, my challenges living in Ottawa was uh, being away from home and my family, uh, learning the bus routes in the city, trying not to get lost, uh, finding a good neighborhood that was nice but not too cheap and like safe safe for me as a female, single female uh, budgeting money for the entire month and yeah, he going to hit cuz preschool word gives you like a full pay right away the first month and it's kind of overwhelming and exciting at the same time because you're like, oh my God, all this money, make it rain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then at the end of the month, I'm just like eating rice or something. <laughs> uh, uh, making time, time management was hard for me. Um, trying to study, train, and like participate in leisure activities at the same time. And like I never left my house because I was too scared. <laughs> to be honest with you, I was kind of scared living in the city, even though I grew up in the city, which is weird, um, which caught, caused me to be stressed out when I was at home. In my own home, I was like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> but I think you should go out and explore the city, just figure out what your interests are leisure-wise, and like, Maybe you'll find a talent, like painting or something. <laughs> uh, studying, reading, and showing up for classes. Uh, the most important things, I think. Uh, my first week of classes in rec, my rec program, uh, they expected me to read two chapters. So the first five minutes of my class, my first class, I was already two chapters behind. I was like, what? And then they assigned me two more chapters, so I was four chapters behind. <laughs> um, Showing up, personally, I went to every one of my classes because I'm not the type to miss something. Uh, but when I did miss classes, I felt really lost after because the professor would always say, the previous class, last week's class, and I was like, oh, I wasn't in that class. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I recommend that you go to all of your classes because sometimes they do assignments that are like 3%, but those add up, right? So if you miss your classes, and plus you get like extra 5% just for attending a class. Like they look at your attendance. They say they're not gonna look at it, but they do. Group work and presentations. Recreation and leisure program was all about group work and presentations. Every single assignment I had to do a presentation. So my first presentation I was really nervous more comfortable now, still a little nervous because all these faces looking at you. <laughs> uh, I think when you have group work, you should find a nice student that's taking notes in class so you know that they're going to help you with the assignment because our school is not going to hit. 
my classmate would just be like, you do the entire assignment, so I'm stuck doing like a 30-page paper while I have other assignments that, are, that I'm supposed to do. So find that person that's going to help you succeed, and you'll, you'll do good for group works. And most of the time, like, you know, presentations are pretty tough when your group members aren't helping you. So you're just you're standing up there looking dumb in front of your professor, so you lose marks that way. Um, presentations. The first time I ever did a presentation, my, my paper was shaking. It was shaking so hard that my professor was like, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'm not. But once you feel scared, you just, I recommend you go present first, no matter what be the first one to present because you're setting the standard for all the other students that are behind you. So if you, even if you did bad, the professor will think you did good and will not be able to change your mark after, right? So if you do your presentation first, you'll make the other students nervous. <laughs> So you're not nervous, you're just sitting there and like, well, oh, I made a mistake there, but it's okay. My paper's been graded already. <laughs> uh, assignments. Do your assignments right away. If you know that you have a hard time with an assignment, I recommend you talk to your professor right at that class. If he's explaining that assignment, you don't understand it, go to him, to his office or her, and just be like, can you explain it in another way? Because, like they said, uh, Pre-education is one year behind, so ask system like what they want from you for that assignment, and it'll show that the professors that you're serious about your education, so they will give you a second chance for another assignment. Let's say you need an extension, and if you went to them every single time, you had a hard time. They're going to be like, okay, we know you're serious, so we'll give you an extension. And that way you'll make friends with your professors. And I think that's the best way to be. Uh, do not wait till the last minute to do your assignments because sometimes you'll have four assignments due the next day. And if you did wait last minute, you have four assignments that are due at like 8 a.m. So they add up, right? You can't just be like, I'll do it. I'll do it next time. Because one time, I had four, five, four or five assignments that were really high marks. So I stayed up the entire night doing these assignments. And it was, it was brutal. I was crying the whole time. <laughs> um, school support systems, take advantage of it all. Tutoring, they have tutoring at Algonquin College. That's where I went. Um, and note takers. If you know that you're going to have a hard time taking notes, just ask for a designated note taker and you're just going to sit there and listen. Take, only take the important notes and you have someone taking the other notes and you get them at the end of the class. And it's better that way, I think. I did that and I had an easy time. That's cool. Just snack just do the month. And the note taker gave me their notes. And I was like, okay, I'm good. Uh, health services. Um, my roommate, she's not so easy, not she cooks oil, so she went to uh, therapy or group sessions at the Native Center. Uh, and it really helped her because they like gave her a success plan to like overcome what's happening to them personally. And it, she passed like with A's that time because she had someone to talk to about her personal problems. It was, it was fun. No matter how strong you think you are to face certain things, it's always helpful to get help, whether it is worries you will not pass the semester or you miss your family back home. These services are for you, like the Chris board they did. Um, this is an example of a schedule at college. The one on the left, left uh, was the official. The one on the right was something I did for myself because I had my personal training, right? And I, I said when I was going to eat, when I was going to clean my apartment, 
I'm the type of person that likes to have a strict schedule. I even have my favorite TV show up there. But <laughs> it's up to you, right? It's time management. It worked for me after I, I didn't do that my first year. I had a really, really hard time. But my second year, I did it, and I was like, okay, what do I have to do today? I'm like, oh, I have to clean. Damn. But yeah, it was, I recommend you do that because it's, it's fun making schedules if, you're, if you like making schedules. <laughs> uh, I recommend you talk to your classmates because like these people could be your friends. They could help you with assignments. You could meet someone that's really good at one class and they could assist you because like, if you talk to them, like, I don't know. I didn't really talk to anybody, so. <laughs> but I wish I did because Mushi we chido the anzi that hit kaiyam chido that. So when are we gonna study? Because he did all they had study groups, but I was too shy to to study with them. Did it myself. That's my class. There was about 60 people in my classroom, and uh, one time I was told uh, I had a classmate tell me she wanted to work with me, but she said, I don't want to do anything that's involved with the Cree, like indigenous, because most of do that, like, don't be ashamed to do an assignment meant for your own community. And like, I, when she said that to me, I was like, why? I'm going back home to work anyway, so I'm going to focus on what I need to focus on, I said. And she was like, well, you always do something native. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Hey. So I didn't, like I said, no, I don't want to work with you because I am going to do something Aboriginal or Indigenous like focused because I plan on going home after I said to her. So every single assignment I did was just like, what can I do to better Wiskaganish? Don't be afraid to focus on what you know and don't let your classmates shame you for doing something that you know you're going to go home and do, right? Home will always be where it is, but your education starts when you want it to, and you will succeed when you try and work hard. Home will be there to support you and cheering you from far. Uh, bring home your certificate, diploma, so our generation will be educated and proud, because you will be homesick. I'm not going to lie. You are going to be homesick, very homesick. But have that support system to tell you, no, stay there. Don't come home. Get your education. Don't give up. Never give up. So now I graduated from Algonquin for, with Recreation and Leisure Services, uh, almost with honors, <laughs> but too bad. So my next personal goal is um, I'm qualified now to apply for the EO Eno police force. Now I'm just waiting to see if I'm accepted. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, thank you.